So we're in North Wales and we're going to be visiting Clamberis Resoles to take a close look at the resoling process. Now you may wonder what the main reasons are for getting your shoes resold. I mean the obvious one is you're going to save yourself some money but also like contrary to what a lot of people think you really can get a good quality resole which maintains the performance of your shoes and obviously it's good for the environment too. And if you use someone like Clamberis Resoles, they're approved by the manufacturer, so they resole the shoe to the same quality as they were made in the first place. Basically, I needed, I had to come up with something to do for a living. I guess I had a list of things, like including coffee roasting and camper van conversions, all these other things. And I sold on resoles because it wasn't being done well in Britain at the time. You know, it was there was a couple. Of, People that have been around doing it for a long time and doing an alright job, but I always felt like it could be done better. I'd seen it done better in, you know, some really good resources from the States and from New Zealand that I'd seen. Can't, you know, you can't go and do a course in resoling, there's no one out there to teach you. So I just got loads of old shoes, took them apart, worked out how to do it, you know. Did, I did some really bad shoes to begin with. I mean, that was 12 years ago now, I think. So Torquil, I think the big question that most climbers have is when should they bring their climbing shoes in for a resole? I mean, we see some pretty crazy examples of shoes that are totally trashed. Conversely, some people might be a little bit too cautious and, and bring their shoes to you when they've got more wear left early. in them. So what are the, what are the boundaries? Well, I, I would say we never get ones that are too early. Like no one ever brings them in too early. Okay. Uh, that's like basically everyone always leaves them too long. And right. until they know, like a lot of our regular customers, they're great because now they know uh, when to bring them, then they keep coming back at the right time. But you kind of, I feel like you have to, you have to educate people the first time and then it's all right after that. Okay, so start but with like, you say too long. Give me an example of a shoe that's either okay. past the point or very close to being so, past the point. So here you go, this is, this is past the point. The material's actually gone, got quite a big hole and it's, it's really soft in there now and that's just not going to resell well, so that would be too far gone. So once the material's gone, then you're definitely going to like lose some performance out of the shoe because you're just going to have a hole underneath the rubber. Look, have you got some examples here of shoes that are at that perfect sweet spot for a resale? The perfect indicator, if you can find it, is when you first start to see the line of the soles. So you can see where the, sole, the line of the sole would have been. If I just, just draw a line on so you can see against the rubber. That's where the sole would have been going. And now it's dipped down like this. So as soon as you see that line of the sole start to dip from where it should have been, that's like the perfect time to resole. You don't want to be seeing this for too long. So that, the whole thing with this, from my point of view, is you want, to, you want to do as little to the shoe as possible. You want to keep the shape that you've worn into the shoe. But if you can bring them earlier, so we're just doing the sole, then you're going to get a shoe that's going to be better for climbing. I mean, obviously the big question that climbers will have, I mean, they, they want to get on board with this for environmental reasons, but they are, of course, thinking about performance as well. I mean, how much has it evolved and what would you say about the, the kind of technical processes and how, how, you know, how do they make the shoes perform better? Yeah, I think that's been my biggest issue the whole, the whole way through this. So we've been doing this 12 years now. And in the beginning, it was really hard to change the mindset that people just thought it was something you did for an old pair of shoes to take down the wall, you know, just to just to get a bit more, more mileage out of them. You're not just getting an old shoe to, to reuse, you're getting something that's actually going to be better, it's going to fit you really well, you've got it nicely worn in and you've got fresh rubber. Uh, and part of that is, is definitely the changes in techniques and the changes in, you know, like using the genuine parts. And A big part of it is knowing that you can do it, you know, knowing that what you're aiming for, that you, you can make a resole really good. Uh, and you can go out and climb as hard as you could in your normal shoe, if not harder. I think that's something that didn't exist before. People didn't really think that was possible. So, I mean, essentially, this is like a, a mini version of the La Sportiva factory. You're running exactly the same processes that they use to make the shoes. Yeah, I mean, we're putting them back in the same last, genuine last. We've got um, the, the genuine parts. It's not a new shoe back, because a new shoe you're going to have to break in again. It's a new shoe that's already broken into it's your foot. Broken. So you get the best of both worlds. So, yeah, it's a win-win. When I started, it was hard to get rubber. You didn't have a lot of choice. You know, you could, I couldn't get the proper lasts and things. And then. 
the companies that have jumped on board, you know, Sportiva have come along and, and now I can get all the, the proper lasts and all the pre-cut soles. It's totally changed it, you know, it's made it, them supporting the resoling has made it a, a, a completely different business and a much better product. I think if you catch your shoe at the right time, you're going to save a lot of money. I don't want to say you're going to save the planet, that might be going too far, but you know, there's an environmental impact of it, for sure. But also you're going to get a shoe that fits you well and you can go back out and climb harder. You know, and that's ultimately that's the best reason I think is you're going to carry on climbing in the same shoe.